Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled pork steaks, macaroni and cheese, and a salad. So the pork steaks I had in my freezer and marinated, it, marinated them in this, uh, Korean barbecue sauce, but it was a spicy and not the original, but I threw away the jar after I marinated my pork sticks overnight. I used the very last of it, but it's this brand, but just the spicy version. And then the macaroni and cheese I picked up from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas. It is in their, uh, it was in their meal simple department, white cheddar mac and cheese. And we're trying it for the first time. Honestly, not that great. I cooked it in the oven and it's not a favorite of mine. Um, I probably would not repurchase it again. It's pretty bland and the noodles are kind of hard. So not a huge fan of it. And then here is our salad. Of course, salad greens, um, red onion, and then I use some of these Parmesan cheddar crisp. I just crush them up and then put them on top. And then what else is in there? Oh. Also some slivered almonds are in there as well. And then finished up this um, Trader Joe's organic um, Italian salad dressing. So this is what, oh, and here are the rest of the pork steaks. They're pretty big, so Howard and I split one. Pretty huge, actually. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Italian stuffed mushrooms. I have had these before on our channel and I got these from HEB, which is a grocery store here in Texas. And last time we liked them, so let's hope we like them tonight. But these are the Italian sausage mushrooms in the Mill Simple department. And all you do is pop them in the oven and bake them. Serving the mushrooms with a side salad. It's just um, Olive Garden salad dressing, some almonds, and then some crushed Parmesan cheese crisp. And then on the for the other side, we are having pastaroni, garlic, and herb. I do not have the box anymore. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So Howard and I stopped and got barbecue for dinner tonight. We actually just got their ribs, which are right here. Don't they look delish? And their brisket beans. And then um, I made some corn, so we are having that. And so here are the rest of the beans in the container. And um, around here, they give you pickles and onion and bread with your barbecue. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Philly cheesesteak casserole. I first made this on our channel, I guess it's been a couple of years ago and it is really good, quick and easy to throw together. I will make sure to link that video in the description box so you guys can have the recipe. The only thing that I did differently um, in the recipe is that I used the thinly sliced or shaved beef instead of ground beef. And then it also calls for a cornstarch um, slurry, but I really don't think you need that. I didn't use it. And as you can see, it's not, you know, like super juicy or watery or anything like that. Serving some garlic bread on the side. And then I decided to try this everything chopped, um, everything Caesar chopped kit because it was on sale for $1.80. Um, so anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having breakfast for dinner. If you've been with our channel for a while, you know that breakfast for dinner is my go-to when I don't feel like making dinner. I do have a video on our channel showing how I make sausage, uh, gravy and biscuits. It is so easy. It's a recipe that used to intimidate me, but my recipe is foolproof and I will link it in the description box. This time, the sausage that I used is from HEB. It is this Hatch pork sausage 
with um, hatched chilies and it is really good. To me, it's not spicy, but it does have the flavor of the peppers and it's really good. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.